hope you are doing good and you're all excited for today's class which is going to be focused on your VIT engineering entrance exam so the exam is just one week away i guess right it's on june 30th so i'm pretty sure all of you are seriously preparing for it and i wanted to do my part to help you guys get a better score so shall we begin are you all ready hello welcome safford anisha mayank mokshagna nice to see all of you here i'm so so happy that everybody has come right on time fantastic job people you guys are awesome veera in tamil channel today i will do physics of vit engineering entrance exam okay so that is at 8 o'clock tonight now we will look at mathematics questions got it ashvika welcome ashvika debanshu sankar welcome then we have sivaraman akshara good afternoon guys so people shall we get started so this session is going to be the most expected questions of this exam that you're all very seriously preparing for with respect to mathematics so who is going to teach this so you are going to learn it from this person over here so my name my dear boys and girls is shimon joseph and i teach mathematics in vedantu so talking about my background i was also like you a few years back i was also a student who was very nervous who was very anxious about his exams but luckily i did clear mains i was one of the state toppers in tamil nadu i did clear je advance also and i studied in iit madras so that is about me now after iit why did you become teacher sir what sir after iit you are becoming teacher so guys i love teaching i am very passionate about it and that is what brought me here to vedantu and vedantu is the right place to be in for any teacher who wants to reach millions of kids and be a positive impact in their lives isn't it great so i hope you are all loving the lectures here in this channel this channel is vedantu end light the english je channel of vedantu so in this channel we also have neat aspirants we have shreya sir for physics wasim sir for chemistry and you have me for mathematics along with sindur ma'am for bio so make sure you guys are utilizing these videos and growing okay so this is for all the english speaking aspirants those who want to learn in english because most of the channels in youtube are hindi right and many people from south india especially they don't speak hindi and they want something in english so for you guys this might be a great help so make sure you subscribe you share it to your friends your juniors your relatives cousins spread the word guys spread the love okay sharing is caring right <laughs> so do that and also make sure you smash that like button and then we will get started so shall we begin are you all ready can i see some energy in the chat can i see some energy in the chat please let me know guys quick 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 how long will the session be it will be for 1 hour 1 hour 20 minutes okay so it will be at least 1 hour for sure maybe 1 hour 20 minutes is what i'm guessing okay are you all ready hari prasad today it is not je mains paper 1 today is b arc paper so i will not be solving it in this channel okay great loving the energy people that's what i wanted that's the spirit now with that same attitude let's begin our problem solving the very first question is from last year i have brought plenty of questions from last year so that you guys are all ready and you're all confident to tackle this big mountain in front of you your vit triple e yes yes obviously sivaraman that is what i have brought see before you even type i have showed it to you i have brought all previous years questions so you guys are going to get the absolute best resource you can use for this particular exam okay so please try because i can solve these very easily guys 
but first you have to try so take out your pen take out your notebook and work it out because when i tell you it will sound so sweet sir brilliant sir you are you are speaking like honey your voice is like honey to my ears but guys that's not the whole point okay i want you also to solve i am not going to write my exam those days are over so please make sure you are solving taking out your pen putting some effort great what is vit triple e nitya shree it is the engineering entrance exam of vit vellore institute of technology so you have vit in vellore vit in chennai you have vit in bhopal also i guess if i am not wrong okay subha welcome subha no you are not late this is the very first question how many of you have answered it narai oli is right anisha is correct debanshu is right mohit welcome mohit nice to have you here mayank no mayank you are wrong please check it mayank that is not correct mr v346 rossi valentino rossi you are wrong please check it that's not right veera karthik is right aryan no aryan that's wrong bargavi is right nitya shri mokshagna let's crack it welcome nice to have you here in andhra pradesh also we have vit yes 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 vit ap is also there correct so there are four branches but the most famous one is vellore vit vellore is the most famous one maybe next comes chennai next uh, bhopal ap is a new one that's why i am saying it last okay then people will be like sir what do you think vit vit ap is less sir very bad sir you are supporting tamil nadu <laughs> hello vit vellore was the oldest okay that's why it's famous no regionalism <laughs> okay so guys let's try to solve it come on so you want to use uh, your rolls theorem right so what is rolls theorem say for applying your rolls theorem you need to have continuous and differentiable so first of all guys is this continuous and differentiable absolutely yes because e par x is perfectly continuous and differentiable everywhere sin x also is perfectly continuous and differentiable everywhere so no problem i am very happy so now now that the conditions are satisfied i go forward and uh, check the statement of rolls theorem what does rolls theorem say it says that for a function which is both continuous and differentiable there should be at least one point there should be at least one point c where f dash of c is zero provided f of a equal to f of b that's correct now because e par zero sin zero is equal to e par pi sin pi both are zero so the third condition of rolls theorem is also satisfied the third condition of rolls theorem is also satisfied so f dash of c should be zero that's the statement what is f dash of c product rule e par c sin c plus e par c cos c is equal to anda so i'll get e par c sin c plus cos c is equal to anda so can e par c be zero no exponential function cannot be zero therefore sin c plus cos c should be zero so that means sin c is equal to minus cos c that means tan c is equal to minus 1 so i should get tan c equal to minus 1 where c belongs to 0 to pi so in this interval where will tan c be minus 1 at 3 pi by 4 legendary this is the way you solve it are you all happy with it are you all happy with it did you all like it very good go with your right so the answer is option d guys it is not b please check it okay yes yes abhijit roshan don't worry about whether you will crack or not just keep improving don't waste any time for the next one month guys okay next one month you have to be aggressive you have to be mad person okay people from outside should look at you and tell has he gone mad because it's your life you want to make it productive you need to squeeze every minute that you have out of the next one month okay so please be that focused 
I hope at least now you are a bit mature. Now that you are almost about to enter college, you need to start worrying about your own life because the world is becoming insanely competitive. Okay? So please be ready for the life ahead. Now people, let me move forward to the next question. Are you all happy with it? Did you all love this question? So this is the level of VID. You should be ready for these kind of questions. Got it? So now let's move forward to the next question which I have for you. The second one. This is a nice question because many people may not be aware of this. Many students may not be aware of this. So I will teach you. You guys can make a note of it. I will not get into the details of any concept. I am not going to teach you concept from zero level. That is impossible because we have only one, one and a half hours wherein I have to cover at least 25-30 questions. Okay. So please keep up the speed with me. Whatever I mention, those topics, search and learn. I would have made videos on every topic. I have been teaching this channel for the last one and a half years. So almost every topic for mains level, for VIT level, I would have covered. You just need to search for it. Okay. Got it, people? So yeah, now let's start. Everybody, please do it. Very good. Rathor Sahab, you are absolutely right, Rathor. Perfect. Sanjeev, I will solve it, but initially one or two minutes, I want to give my students, man. One or two minutes, you guys try, na. Don't expect me to solve directly. It is not a problem solving session for me. It is for you guys. Everybody try it out. Very good. Nerai Oli. Very good. Then we have Mayank Sharma. Kritik Rohit. Well done guys. Well done. You are all absolutely correct. VIT exam is on July 1st for you. Subha. All the best. Do well. It is starting on June 30th. Subha. Okay. I think your slot is on July 1st. Anyway. Do well. All the best. Aryan, very good. Yash Parmar, then Safford, Madhuri, Aom Prakash, very good, oh, very good. Bhargavi is also right. Superb. So what is the formula here? The formula is T is equal to S1. Are you all aware of it? So what is T is equal to S1? It is the equation of chord whose midpoint is given. It is the equation of chord whose midpoint is given. So let me first write the equation of hyperbola in standard form. So it will be x square by 25 minus y square by x square by 16 minus y square by 25 is equal to 1. Is that right people? Are you all happy with it? So t will be what? t will be xx1 by 16 minus yy1 by 25 minus 1. That is your t. So t is equal to S1. What is S1? I have to substitute the point inside. So it will be 5 square by 16 minus 3 square by 25 minus 1. So what is x1, y1? x1, y1 is 5 and 3. x1 is 5, y1 is 3. So put x1 as 5 and put y1 as 3. So now you will get the answer. So minus 1, minus 1 I can cancel. Now simplify, get the answer. Everybody finish it off. Come on guys, I want all of you to be very, very fast. I want you to be very, very fast. Can I find it out by substitution? So you can substitute the point 5 comma 3, but what if 2 or 3 options satisfy it? So that is not a very good method, Veera. If only one option satisfies it, then it will be good. It will be a lucky day. But I am sure they are not fools to give you like that. So please don't expect it. Got it? This is the right approach. This is how I want everybody to solve. Are you all clear? So guys, these are all useful even for JE mains. That's why I put VIT as well as JE mains. And people are asking, sir, will you teach both? Most of the concepts will overlap for both the exams. So yes, it is beneficial for both these exams, whatever I am doing now. Okay? Very good. Avinash, yes Avinash, I will try to do that. What is the level of VIT? Rupa, it will be slightly easier than your mains, but the portions are slightly different. VIT has some extra portions like your rank of matrix and some deleted portion like I heard from students that complex numbers is not there. Okay, so that syllabus you have to take care Rupa, but the level of questions is easier than mains. Okay, 
So Nandu, very good Nandu, absolutely right. So people, did you all get option B? So when I take LCM, I'll get what? 125X minus 48Y is equal to, I'll get uh, what? 625 minus 144. So that's my answer. So when I subtract it, I'll get option B. So all those who said B, you guys are absolutely right. Very good. Now let's move forward, guys. We need to pick up pace. Come on, come on. Boys and girls, everybody, try it out. I want you to be ultra fast. This is an NCRT question. Can you believe it? This is an NCRT type question. Exact same question they have asked in VIT. They repeated the same question. So yes, that is why I keep telling. Guys, NCRT textbook is so important. NCRT textbook is so important. Cover that. Okay. If it is important for maths, then it is super important for chemistry. So please don't forget to revise that. Very good, Yagna. Yagna, absolutely right. Very good. So guys, what we have to do here is, first we need to find the equation of tangent. So equation of tangent is what? Y minus Y1 is equal to M slope of tangent into X minus X1. Okay. So now I will differentiate this. So if I differentiate this, what will I get? I'll get 2Y dy by dx is equal to, I'll get uh, first function into derivative of second plus second function into derivative of first. So derivative of 2 minus x whole square is uh, 2 into 2 minus x into minus 1. So that is my derivative. Now you want dy by dx at 1 comma 1. So let's put y as 1, x as 1. So I'll get 2 into slope of tangent is equal to 1 plus you will have what? 1 into 2 into 1 into minus 1. So it will be minus 2, which will be equal to minus 1. So the slope of tangent is minus half. The slope of tangent is minus half. So if I get the equation of tangent, it will be x plus 2y equal to 3. Is that all right? Till here, how many of you have got it? Till here, how many of you have got it? If you all have understood it till now, then please let me know in the chat with a thumbs up with a yo and then we shall move forward come on guys quick 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 i want you to be ultra fast i want you to be ultra fast very good brilliant 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 you guys are awesome now wait a minute we are not even done we are not even done we are just halfway through the question so what i did right now my dear boys and girls was i found out my equation of tangent but what did they ask they are saying that this tangent will intersect the curve again at some other point. You have to find the coordinates of those points. How do you do that? Let's have a look at it in a diagrammatical way. So let's visualize it. Okay. So let us say the curve is like this. Okay. So I am drawing a tangent here. So this is the point 1 comma 1. So this is the tangent x plus 2y equal to 3. Did you all like it? So, it intersects the curve again at Q. So, you need to find out what is this Q. So, basically, I have to solve the tangent and the curve. I have to solve the tangent and the curve. So, people, now there is a very important concept going on in the background. What is that? So, if a line is tangential to a curve, that means this point is a repeated root. I am not worried about the answer. Yes, you guys are right. Aditya, Debanshu, Anisha, Shubha, you guys are absolutely correct. But concept, the concept is very important here. What is happening here? This is tangential. So 1 is a repeated root here. Are you all aware of that? Because I'm going to use that while solving the latter part of this question. Okay, so now what am I going to do? I'm going to solve the tangent and the curve. Why? Only then I can get Q. So let's do that. So I'm going to solve the tangent and the curve. So I'll get y is equal to 3 minus x by 2. So I'm going to put it here. So 3 minus x by 2, the whole square is equal to uh, x into 2 minus x square, which will be 4 plus x square minus 4x. So then this will be what? 9 plus x square minus 6x is equal to 
uh, I can cross multiply the 4. So it will become 4x into, you will have x square minus 4x plus 4. So now you can open it. So you will get 4x cube. Then you will have minus 16 minus 1. So minus 17x square. Then you will have plus 16 plus 6. So plus 22x minus 9 is equal to 0. Is that right? So sum of the roots is what? So sum of the roots is 17 by 4 minus b by a minus b by a is equal to sum of the roots x1 plus x2 plus x3. But like I said, 1 is a repeated root. Why? Because at 1 it's a tangent. So tangent means it will touch the curve at that point. So it will be a repeated root 1 plus 1. What is x3? x3 is the q x coordinate. Q x coordinate. So x3 will be what? x3 will be 17 by 4 minus 2. So x3 will be 9 by 4. So I got x3. Put it back inside. Get y3. You are done. Legendary. Did you all love it? Was it awesome? Was it awesome? Yes. This was a legendary question. I hope all of you enjoyed this question. Okay. Very good, very good, very good. Perfect. So with that said, people, let's move forward. Let's go to the next question. Okay. Guys, please practice these kind of questions, okay? And those who missed it, who did not follow it, please pull the video back and have a look at it. Okay. So, Bhargav. Bhargavi Ram, please pull the video back and have a look at it. And that is why I keep saying, guys, pay attention. Don't spam the chat. See, general information, you can Google it, guys. Google will answer you better than me. But teaching, I can do better than Google, okay? So that is why you need to focus on the class because I'm explaining, right? So that explanation for you to search in the internet will take time. Got it? But uh, all the other general questions which you have, you can Google it. Whether VIT accepts JE score, and uh, whether 30 questions will come, 25 questions will come. You can check it online, okay? That don't ask here, don't spam. Rather focus. We are going to solve plenty of good questions. So please, please, please focus on that. Got it? Very good. So shall we move forward? Yep. Are you all happy? Very good. Superb. So with that said, people, let's go to the next question. The next question is over here, right on your screen. Again, a beautiful question. Everybody try to solve it. Come on, guys. Great, great, great. Thank you, Sanika. I'm glad you're enjoying it. Harshini, VIT Triple E is the entrance exam for VIT College. VIT College is Vellore Institute of Technology. It is a good college. So people usually write it. Okay, those who are preparing for engineering exams, they also write VIT. Like how you write Manipal Institute. VIT is also one good college which people aim for. Okay, very good. Hello, Lokesh. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Of course, I remember you, man. Nice to have you back. Baskar says option C. Sai Movie says B. Very good. PBSN, that's awesome, man. Good, good, good. <laughs> Mohit says C. Everybody says C. How, guys? How? Answer is not C. Answer is B. Okay? Answer is B. It's a good question. Sir, how, sir? See, first, guys, at x equal to 0, do you all agree? 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0. So f of 0 is? Do you all agree that? Do you all agree with that? Everybody, please let me know. You guys are happy? No doubt about it. Simple stuff, right? Now, now let's move forward. And for x not equal to 0, I'm going to use GP. Because, sir, this is a GP, sir. This is a GP, right? Because first term is x. I am multiplying it with 1 by 1 plus x. Again, multiplying with 1 by 1 plus x. So, it is a GP. 
with common ratio as 1 by 1 plus x. So the sum of all the terms, which is your f of x, will be what? Will be a by 1 minus r. Which will be what? Which will be x by x by x plus 1. So that will be x plus 1. So that is your function when x is not 0. Did you all like it? Awesome, right? So this is your function for x not equal to 0. Got it? So my function now becomes x plus 1 for x not equal to 0 and it becomes 0 for x equal to 0. So now check the limit. Limit extending to 0. Left hand limit is 1. Functional value is 0. Right hand limit is also 1. So LHL, RHL are equal but they are not equal to functional value. So it is discontinuous. Legendary, na? This was such a rich question in concept. Very rich question in concept. I hope all of you are happy with it. Okay, so shall we all move forward? Very good. Sanika, not because of that reason, Sanika. What I gave here, that's the right reasoning. Okay, that's the right reasoning. Okay, let's move forward. Shall we all proceed? Very good. So with that, let us go to the next question. Here we go. The next question is right on your screen. Again, a very interesting question. Come on, people. Everybody try to solve it. From which chapter was this question given? Obviously, it is a mixture of chapters, Mohit. But it is a question on calculus, I would say. Okay. Very good evening. Welcome, 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 people. So, are you all having fun? Madhuri, very good. Sanika, Ponnala, Bhaskar, Mohit, Bhargavi. Are you all able to get it? Fantastic. Sir, what is the best thing to do on the last day of JE? I would say relax, maybe revise a little bit of inorganic, organic chemistry. That's it. Don't do anything heavy. Sleep early and try to take some good rest. Okay. And in the morning, if you're riding the morning shift, don't eat too heavy. Eat light. Okay. That's my suggestion for all of you. Okay. Very well done. Sanika says option C. Mayank. Good job, guys. You're all absolutely right. Mukund, you're right. Sai Manoj, very good. Rohit Reddy, I'll come to that. Veera, very good Veera. Subha, Bhargavi, Hanish, Vaishnavi, very well done. You guys are awesome. Keep it up. Rowdy Boy, Nagaraj, Anisha, Tejeswar, Satya, well done. So people, what do we have here? So we have a, we have a square. So we have a square where one of the diagonals is given. What is this? This diagonal is uh, 7x minus y plus 8 is equal to 0. Now, does this vertex lie on this diagonal? Does this vertex, does this satisfy here? Check it, 7 into minus 4, minus 28, minus of 5, plus 8. Sir, no sir, it is not 0. That means it is not this vertex, it is not this vertex. So it has to be either here or here. So it lies on the other diagonal. So it lies on the other diagonal. This is our point, minus 4, 5. Now we know that in a square, the diagonals are going to be perpendicular. Bisecting and perpendicular. Okay. So in a square, the diagonals are going to be perpendicular. Is that right? Are you all clear people? Okay, okay, okay. So, what is the slope of the other diagonal? So, slope of the diagonal will be minus 1 by slope of this diagonal, which will be 7. So, that's it. I got the answer. I got slope. I know one point. Can I find the equation? Very simple. What is that? Y minus Y1 is equal to M into X minus X1. So that is how you solve it. Now you guys can finish it off. Okay. Are you all happy with it? Simple stuff. Did you all love it? 
So it is not that difficult, guys. It is not that difficult that you guys cannot do it. All of you can finish it. Superb, superb. So with that, let's move to the next question. Shruti, welcome to our channel, Shruti. Nice to have you here. Now, moving on to the next challenge from integration. Very good. Come on, come on, boys and girls. Everybody try it out. You guys can crack it. So take the first two minutes. You all try it out. Then I will help you. Okay. Yes, Bavitra, for sure it will be useful for JE also. Just because the name is VIT doesn't mean that it's going to be full of easy questions. VIT exam also covers some nice questions which I have taken in today's class. Please go through it. Hint, hint, hint. Okay, so guys, this is G of F of X. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take x to the power 3 by 2 as t. So what will be the derivative of this 3 by 2 x to the power 1 by 2 dx is equal to dt. Okay, so x to the power 1 by 2 dx is there. So x to the power 1 by 2 dx is what? 2 by 3 dt. So 2 by 3 dt divided by root of 1 minus x cube is what? x cube is t square. T square, nah. now it's over. What will that be? That will be sine inverse of T. So it will be sine inverse of T, direct formula, plus C. What is T? T is x to the power 3 by 2. So sine inverse of x to the power 3 by 2 plus C. So this is the composition. So 2 by 3, 2 by 3. So composition is what? Sine inverse. So G will be sine inverse. F will be x power 3 by 2. So this is your answer. Because g of f of x should be this value. Okay. Are you all happy with that? Very good. Superb. Superb. Very good. Thank you Nagaraj. I am glad you are enjoying it. x cube as common. No Vira. Because whatever you take. Whatever you take. That root should be present. Okay. That root which we get when we differentiate now x power 3 by 2 when i differentiate i get root x now that is there so that is why i did this so whenever you substitute make sure your derivative is present okay make sure your derivative is present otherwise you have to bring it hello netra welcome netra nice to have you here very good so with that people let's go to the next question come on come on boys and girls everybody don't give up. Another wonderful question. Netra, all the very best. Do well, do well. All the very best. Go for it. <laughs> Hi, high end, welcome. How many hours should I study per subject? Minimum three hours. But yeah, at least three you should study per day if you are very serious about J mains. Are previous year's questions enough for VIT? PC, you have only a few days left out. That's the best you can do. Okay, so that is why I said at least previous year's questions you try to solve. Gumnam, welcome, welcome. Amain, nice to see you. Sai Manoj says A. Guys, this is a Laddu question, okay? What are you doing? What are you guys doing so long? It's a very simple question, okay? Very good. Suguru Sampath, all the best. Do well, do well. Sir, do these type of videos for Bitsat also. Yes, maybe after mains is over, we'll start focusing on that. Okay. Thank you, Shruti. So people, let's try to solve this question. Okay. So the answer, like your friends have said, is pi by 2. The other name for it is orthogonal curves. Okay. The other name for it is orthogonal curves. So please understand these terminologies. You should not be scratching your head when they give you this in the question. Got it? So yeah, now let's try to solve it. Find the angle of intersection to the curve y equal to x square and 6y is equal to 7 minus x cube. So very simple guys. They gave you the point. So you have to basically find the slopes of tangent for these two. 
because this is the point of intersection for both the curves. This is a point of intersection for both the curves. You can check it. So at this point, I have to find slope of tangent for this, slope of tangent for this. How do I do that? I differentiate. So dy by dx is equal to 2x, which will be equal to 2 because x is 1. So here if I differentiate, I'll get 6 dy by dx is equal to minus 3x square. So dy by dx is equal to minus 1 by 2 x square, which will be minus 1 by 2 because x is equal to 1. Got it? So 2 and minus 1 by 2. So that is perpendicular. How? The product is minus 1. The product of slope of this tangent and slope of this tangent will be minus 1. So the product of slopes are minus 1. We all know that they will be perpendicular. Got it? Are you all cool with it? Did you all like it? Everybody, superb, superb, brilliant guys, brilliant. You are all awesome. With that said, let's go to the next question. Come on people, everybody try to solve it. This is again a fantastic question. This is R dot. This is R dot. Okay, plane equation. That is a plane equation. This is a line equation. So a line is intersecting a plane at a point. So that point distance you have to find from this point. So first you have to get intersection of this line and this plane. Can you all try to do that? Everybody, please quickly, quickly, quickly. Very good. You guys are awesome. Fantastic. Is it mains question? Guys, such kind of questions can come in your mains also. That is why I'm saying it's a very important session. Please take it a bit seriously. Please do take it a bit seriously. This will help you in mains also. Yes, Green Gamer. Guys, this session is for all those who are preparing for mains also. Look at the question, guys. It's a typical JE mains question. Okay? So yeah, solve it. How do you do it? So first of all, any point on this line can be given as 2 plus 3 lambda, comma, minus 1 plus 4 lambda, 2 plus 2 lambda. So this is any point on the line, any point on the line. Now it has to lie on the plane also. So it has to satisfy the plane equation. What is the plane equation? It is x minus y plus z equal to 5. So x minus y plus z is equal to 5. So I'll get 2 plus 1 plus 2, 5, 5, 5 cancel. So this will be lambda, lambda equal to 0. So that is the point of intersection. If lambda is 0, what is the point? The point is 2 comma minus 1 comma 2. So 2 comma minus 1 comma 2 is the point of intersection of this line with the plane. Did you all like it? Did you all like it? Everybody, 2 comma minus 1 comma 2 is the point of intersection of this line with this plane. So now you have to find the distance formula. That's it. Distance of this point and this point. So that will be what? 3 square plus 4 square plus 12 square. So I think it will be 13, right? I think answer will be 13. Check it. It should be 13. Yeah. Are you guys getting that? Everybody, please do it quick, quick, quick. Come on, my dear boys and girls. I want you to be ultra fast. Please be quick. Very good. Satya, I will do that, Satya. So people are saying that, can we have some sessions for aptitude and English? Yes, yes, I will do that. Okay, I'll teach you some techniques by which you can score some better mark in your VIT aptitude. We will have it in the upcoming days. Got it? Very good, guys. So shall I proceed? Very good. Superb. So Tejavardhan, yes, this session is for VIT triple E. Okay. So guys, this is the next question. Very simple. Can you believe 
They asked this in 2021. All the questions I've taken from last year. I hope you're all enjoying it. And check how much you're able to do. That should give you motivation. Very good. Sachin. Yes, yes, Sachin. CUET exam dates are out. It is on July 15th. So yeah, we have almost three-fourths of a month left. So yeah, you can do well if you prepare from now. Great. So people, are you all ready? Shall I discuss this? What is the angle between these two straight lines? So how do we do it? Very simple. Angle between straight lines is equal to M1 minus M2 by 1 plus M1 M2 tan inverse of that. Okay. So theta is equal to tan inverse of. So 2 plus root 3. Let's call this M1. Let's call this M2. So it's going to be uh, 2 plus root 3 minus of 2 minus root 3 divided by 1 plus 2 plus root 3 into 2 minus root 3. So that will be how much? That will be tan inverse of 2 root 3 by 2. So tan inverse of root 3 will be pi by 6. So it will be 60 degrees. Is that right? Very good Mayank. Very good Lakshmi. Madhuri. Bhaskar. Veera. Mohit. Ishan. Sai Manoj. Yagna. Kushant. Very good. Very good. You guys are awesome. Vaishnavi is also right. Vaishnavi is also right. Fantastic. Nerayoli. Lakshmi. Superb. Great job guys. I am super duper happy. You guys are rocking it. Mahak. Fantastic Mahak. So with that said people. Let's go to the next question. Another beauty. Another beauty is on your screen. Everybody please try to participate and finish it off. Tejavardhan. Please listen to the class, Tejavardhan. Okay, you are spamming. And uh, like I said, J today is paper 2, B arc paper. Okay, so I am sure you are not writing that, isn't it? So today is B arc paper, that is why we are not solving it. Tomorrow is what you are going to write, that I will solve. Okay, so yeah, please know that. Every time, guys, the first shift is B arc shift. Okay. So that is why today there is no paper discussion. Only tomorrow I will start. Got it? Very good. So how do you solve this question? Mayank has done it in the mock test. Awesome. Very good. Hanish. Yeah, let's check it, Hanish. You are right. You are right. Ponala Bhaskar is right. Dibak Vigam is absolutely right. Very good. Mokshadna is right. Superb. So shall, shall we all solve it? Shall we all solve it? Everybody. Fantastic. Manisha. Superb. Madhuri. Fantastic. So guys, how do you solve this? So here, can I say Z is equal to A minus IB whole cube. So can I say X plus iota Y is equal to a cube plus I B cube minus 3 A B square minus I times of 3 B square B A square, right? Yeah. So guys, you know A minus B whole cube formula. A minus B whole cube formula is what? A cube minus of B cube. So minus of B cube is what? B is I B, right? So i cube b cube you will get and i cube will be minus i. So minus i b cube. So that's why it becomes plus i b cube. Got it? And then likewise you can extend the other two terms also. So now compare the real part. What is real part? Real part on left side and right side is these two. So x is equal to a cube minus 3 a b square. So x by a. Why x by a? Because that's what they want. X by A is how much? A square minus 3B square. Now similarly, compare the imaginary part. Imaginary part means Y and then these two. So Y is equal to B cube minus 3A square B. So Y by B is how much? Y by B is B square minus 3A square. So now subtract 
x by a minus y by b. So what is x by a minus y by b? I have to subtract both these equations. So if I do that, a square minus of minus 3a square will become 4a square. Minus 3b square minus b square will become minus 4b square. So if I take 4 common, I'll get k is equal to 4. That's my answer. That is the way you do it. Are you all clear? Everybody, did you all love it? Was it ultra legendary? Did you, my dear boys and girls, enjoy this question? So shall I move forward? You guys are all happy? Please let me know in the chat, guys. Come on, quick, quick, quick. Superb. This is amazing. So with that said, people, let's go to the next question. This is a good question, guys. This is a nice question. And trust me, you can do it. You can do it. It is not hard. It is not hard. Please try it, try it. You guys are capable. Very good. Ishan, fantastic. Will we have VIT paper discussion? Guys, VIT paper discussion, I'm pretty sure we won't have. Only JE paper discussions we do. Okay. Satirical strike. Welcome, man. Nice to see you. Long, long, long time. Sheikh Muntaz. Matrices, determinants, sequence and series, statistics, mathematical reasoning, definite integration, application of derivatives. These are some of the important and easy topics for JE mains. Okay. Very good. Akshita. Very good, Akshita. You are awesome. Adarsh. Nice to see you, Adarsh. Long time no see. Very good. So yes, people, I think the answer is option D. How? So first, I need to find left hand and right hand side. Because continuity means I need to see left hand side what's happening, right hand side what's happening. So if X is less than 1, that means left hand side. Okay. Then box that is modulus of x minus 1 will be minus of x minus 1 is that right so it will become x square minus 1 divided by x square i'll get plus 2x plus 2x plus 2 right or minus 2 so that will be what so if i factorize it i'll get x minus 1 into x plus 1 and denominator I'll get what? x plus 3 into x minus 1. So that is your f of x. So now I can cancel off these two and we want to find limit x turning to 1 because continuity at 1 we are checking, right? So limit f of, uh, limit x turning to 1 f of x will be what? It will be 1 plus 1 divided by 1 plus 3. So it will be 2 by 4, which is equal to half. So this is your left hand limit. So left hand limit is half. Did you all like it? You cannot use L'Hopital. Who is that? How can you use L'Hopital here? You have to use your knowledge of modulus. Okay? You have to use the knowledge of modulus. Got it? Are you all clear? So this is my left hand limit. Now right hand limit means what? X is greater than 1. So that is your right hand side. So that means modulus X minus 1 will be X minus 1 because this is positive. If it is positive, the inside quantity, modulus will not do anything. So now what will happen? F of X will become X square minus 1 divided by X square minus 2X plus 2 minus 1. So that will be plus 1. So it will be x minus 1 into x plus 1 by x minus 1 square. So x minus 1, x minus 1 will get cancelled. So I will get limit x turning to 1. f of x will be x plus 1 by x minus 1 which will be infinity. Because denominator will become 0. So right hand limit is tending to infinity. Left hand limit is half. So LHL and RHL are not equal. Therefore it is not continuous. That is the way you do it. I hope all of you liked it. Did you all enjoy it? Did everybody get it? How many of you got this fully? Sir, whatever you told, I understood. And I am very happy. Let me know in the chat. 
with a thumbs up, with a fire, with a yo, and then we'll go forward. Make sure you guys are smashing the like button for this video. Okay, why not LH rule? Because you are modelist, man. How can you directly differentiate? Come on, guys, think, think, think. Modulus is there. And whenever you have modulus, and if it, if it is breaking at this point, then it's better to split it and solve. Okay? Are you all clear? Did you all love it? Fantastic question, right? So conceptual. Okay. So with that said, let's move forward to the next question, which is right on your screen. This is an easy one. Based on cube roots of unity, but many people are saying that, sir, complex numbers is not there, sir. Complex numbers is not there. So please skip this question, sir. So I'll just write down how do you solve it because some JE students are also here. So let me just show you how to solve this. Okay. So omega cube, we all know is one. Because complex cube root of unity, right? We all know that omega cube is one. 1 plus omega plus omega square is equal to 0. Why? Because sum of the three cube roots of unity is 0. That is a property. Right? So now let's use that. So what I'm going to do is, I'm going to write 3 plus omega plus 3 omega square whole power 4. So I'm going to add 2 omega and I'm going to subtract 2 omega. Why? Because then these will become 0. Wonderful sad. What did I do? I added 2 omega. I added 2 omega. I subtracted 2 omega. So omega plus 2 omega will become 3 omega. So now I can take 3 common. So 3 into 1 plus omega plus omega square will be 0. So this will go away. So it will become minus 2 omega power 4 which will be 16 omega power 4. And we know omega cube is 1. So if omega cube is 1, it will become 16 omega. So that is your answer. Are you all happy? Very good Ishan. Very good Baskar. Sanika. Abhishek. Welcome Abhishek. Nice to see you here. Satirical strike. Okay, okay, okay. I hope it is useful for you. Great man. Superb. So with that, let's move forward. Quick, 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 quick. Come on guys. Hurry up. Another beautiful question. Another beautiful question. Let's see how many of you are able to solve it. Adarsh, you are in the Ekalavya batch. That's awesome, man. I am so happy and proud of you. Use it well, okay? Ekalavya batch is the ultimate batch in Vedantu. So yeah, utilize it properly and uh, do your best in J Advance. Hello, Kevin. Welcome, Kevin. Nice to see you here. So, people, shall we, shall we discuss this, everybody? Okay, let's try to solve this. So, how do we simplify it? So, first, I will write this as tan inverse of 4x. I can write as 5x minus x divided by 1 plus 5x into x. And uh, this one, right, I will write it as 2 by 3. So I'm going to divide by 3. So I'm going to write it as 2 by 3 plus x divided by 1 minus 2 by 3 into x. That's it. So your y became very easy. So what is this? Tan inverse of a minus b by 1 plus ab. So that is nothing but tan inverse of a minus tan inverse of b. Is that right? Similarly here, what will I get? So this will be tan inverse of a plus b by 1 minus ab. So that's tan inverse of a plus tan inverse of b. So minus tan inverse of x plus tan inverse of x will get cancelled. So your y is very simple. Tan inverse of 5x plus tan inverse of 2 by 3. Can you believe how easy it is? Now you can differentiate it. Now you can differentiate it. It's a laddu question. So if I differentiate it, what will happen? dy by dx is equal to, I'll get 1 by 1 plus 5x square into derivative of 5x is 5. So the answer is option C, which nobody said. Everybody saying A, 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 A. Mayank is right. Mukund is right. 
Nanda, no Nanda. It is option C. Broken heart is right. ROG, thunder, you are right. Very good. Manisha, Sanika. Very good. Well done, people. Well done. Did you all like it? Superb, superb, superb. So that's the way you do it. I hope all of you liked it. With that, we shall move forward to the next question. Ishan, I am glad you enjoyed it, man. <laughs> Great. Where a level, it seems. Good, good, good. Now coming to the next question. Come on, people. All of you try to solve it. Everybody try to solve it. Quick. How was today's J.E. Mains paper? Thor, today is going to be your BR paper, man. It is not J.E. Mains, your paper. Okay, it is BR paper. Verify the option. Yeah, you can do that. You can do that also. Malay Vanakkam, sir. Welcome, welcome. Very good evening, broken heart. So people, are you all loving the questions? I hope all of you are taking it seriously. And people, if you are preparing for second attempt of JE mains, if you are preparing seriously for second attempt of JE mains, make sure you utilize the crash course of Vedantu, which is going on currently. It is a live crash course. The link I have given below the description. We have Hindi as well as English. Two separate batches. One is Hindi and one is English. So if you are interested, do check it out. The link is given below in the description. Okay. Yes, 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 Mayank. It is 8,100 rupees. It will go until next month. So yeah, people, what is the answer? You guys are all right. We will check it now. So circle has radius as 3. Okay. So yes, option D is correct, I think. Radius is 3. Center lies on the line. This. So guys, here, the best way to do it is, the best way to do it is, substituting the options. So what is the center here? 4, 3. What is the radius? Radius is root of g square plus f square minus c. So radius is equal to 4 square plus 3 square minus 16. So am I getting 9? Root 9 is 3, right? So radius is 3, center is this. So radius is 3, center, does it satisfy y is equal to y is equal to x minus 1, y is equal to x minus 1, yes. So this option is perfect. So I would say solving it with options is the best method over here. But sir, what is the right approach sir? Please teach that also. So guys, you can take the center as alpha comma alpha minus 1. Why? Because if center x coordinate is alpha, then center y coordinate is alpha minus 1. And we know radius is 3. So the center is alpha comma alpha minus 1. And we know a point on the circle. So this is radius, right? So distance formula you apply alpha minus 7 whole square plus alpha minus 1 minus 3, which will be alpha minus 4 whole square is equal to 3 square. So get alpha. And then you are done over. So this is the right approach. But yeah, this might be lengthy. Yes, yes, Ishan. It's a English batch. So crash course, we have English plus English also. There are two different batches. Very good. So people, are you all ready? Fantastic. So let's go forward. Let's do the... Next few questions. Quick, 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 quick. Come on, guys. Don't give up. Don't give up. I want all of you to be aggressive. Devendra, thank you so much. I'm glad you're loving it, man. I'm glad you guys are having fun. So with that, people, let's go to the next question. Very good. Yes, 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 Nanda, I will go slow, don't worry.
great 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 so guys what are they asking here they are asking you find the rate of change of volume of the cylinder they are asking you find the rate of change of volume of the cylinder so what is volume of cylinder volume of cylinder is pi r square h so rate of change of volume dv by dt is equal to what it is equal to pi into 2r dr by dt into h plus you will have what r square into dh by dt chain rule I'm sorry, product rule you have to use here. Okay, not chain rule, product rule. Okay, so you have R also varying, H also varying, right? So this is also changing, this is also changing. So if I differentiate it, I need to use the product rule. So first function into derivative of second plus second function into derivative of first. So derivative of first is 2R dr by dt. Now plug in the values. So it is pi into 2r. r is how much? r is 2. h is 3. So r is 2. So 2 into 2 is 4. dr by dt is how much? Radius increases at 0 0.01. 0 0.1. Yeah. Into h is 3. Plus r square again 4. Into dh by dt is how much? dh by dt is 0 0.2. So now you add it all up. It will be 12 plus uh, 8. So it's 0 0.0, 0 1.2 plus 0 0.8 2 pi. Is that right? Are you all happy? Did I make any mistake? Can you please check it? Yeah. Everybody please check it guys. I hope it's right. If there is any error, let me know. Okay. 2 pi, right? Minus 2 pi. Okay, okay, okay. I think we have... Oh, guys, it decreases. I'm sorry. So, decreases, right? So, decreases means minus. Okay, decreases. Please read it carefully. Decreases means minus. Increases means plus. Okay, so that you take care. So, it's going to be how much? It's going to be... Uh, 1.2 minus 0.8, which will be 0 0.4. So that's your answer. So that's 2 pi by 5. Okay, because 2 pi by 5 is 0 0.4. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So guys, be careful, okay? See, one, one small mistake, one small overlook and we are completely wrong. So please be careful, okay? Don't make such mistakes. Are you all happy with it? Shall I move forward? Very good. Very good. So with that, people... Here is your next question. Very easy Laddu question. Very easy Laddu question. Please try it out. Everybody try to solve it. Come on guys. Quick, 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 quick. Great. Gunanika Prashant, superb. You are absolutely right. And then who else? Nanda, Devashri, Shaikh Muntaz. Very good. Superb, superb. You guys are absolutely right. CHU, you are right. Sanika, Sri Raksha. Very good. You guys are awesome. Adarsh. Yes, welcome man. I'm not too sure. But yeah, were you part of the A club here batch? Okay, so guys, let's try to solve it. How do we do this? This is going to be mod A square, mod B square, sine square theta. Because A cross B, right? A cross B magnitude is mod A mod B sine theta. Square is there, no? So that's why I wrote this. So when I say square, it is A cross B dot A cross B. A cross B whole square is nothing but A cross B dot A cross B. Okay, so that will be equal to magnitude of A cross B square. So that is why I got this. 
and a dot b whole square will be mod a square mod b square cos square theta that is equal to 676 okay now you guys can finish it off very easily now you guys can finish it off very easily yes yes adarsh i do remember man <laughs> not bad my memory has not gone that bad okay so mod b square is how much mod b square is 4 so mod b square will be 4 and i can take mod a square common so you'll get sine square theta plus cos square theta. What is sine square theta plus cos square theta? It is 1. So I'll get mod a square is equal to 169. So mod a is equal to 13. 13 is your answer. Very simple stuff. Did you all like it people? Are you all happy with it? So shall I move forward? All good? Yup. Fabulous guys. Superb. Mohamed Fawad. Very good man. Ishan, Bhargavi. Max, awesome, awesome, awesome. You guys are killing it. Now, moving to the next question. What is the rate of increase of volume of sphere when these following informations are given? Try to do it, guys. Quick, quick, quick. Everybody try to solve it and be fast, okay? Try to be fast. Thank you, Sanika. I'm glad you're enjoying it. <laughs> what is the answer? The answer is 2, is it? No, man. Check it. See, a football is inflated by pumping air into it. So it's going to increase in size. When it acquires spherical shape, its radius increases at 0 0.02. So dr by dt is what? Plus 0 0.02. Okay. Now what is he asking? He's asking dv by dt. So your V is equal to 4 by 3 pi R cube. So dV by dt is 4 by 3 pi R cube derivative will be 3 R square dr by dt. Okay, so 3, 3 will get cancelled. So you will have what? 4 pi R square is how much? R square is 10 square. So R square is 10 square into dr by dt is how much? dr by dt is 0 0.02. So it's going to be 8 pi. It's going to be 8 pi. Are you clear? Are you happy with this? Did you all love it? Fantastic. Fantastic. Jami Suchitra. Superb. Ishan. Very good Ishan. Akshara. Brilliant. Sri Raksha. Good job guys. Good job. So yeah, that's about it guys. With that, we have one more question. Very simple. This is oral question. Okay. You need not take your pen also. Without taking your pen, try to solve it. Kushant. Super Kushant. You are right. Yugendra. Very good Yugendra. Bavitra. Yes, you are right. Exactly. So guys, this is a very good theoretical question. You don't have to solve it at all. Okay. If you know one concept, directly you can do it. If you know one concept directly, you can do it. Okay. Mayank says option D. Very good, Mayank. You are absolutely correct. Why? Because for a given perimeter, for a given perimeter, your square will have the maximum area. For a quadrilateral of given perimeter, your square will have maximum area. So, perimeter is what? 34. So, 4a equal to 34. So, what is the side of the square? Side of the square is 8.5. So, area of the square, which is the maximum area, is 8.5 square, which is 72.25. That's how we do it. Legendary, na? Did you all like it? Okay. Ram, you can do it, Ram. It's very simple. Okay. So, if you do not know this, the way you do it is, uh, they said quadrilateral whose angles are 90. So, it's a rectangle. So, 2x plus y is equal to 34. So, x plus y is equal to 17, Ram. Now, area is what? Area of rectangle is xy. So, it will be x into y will be what? y will be 17 minus x. Now, you have to maximize it. 
So you maximize it wrong, you will see that x will be 17 by 2. That is when it is a square. Okay. Very good. Superb. Absolutely mind. So AOD also you can do. You differentiate this RAM and equate it to 0. You will get square only again. Got it? Everybody happy with this? All of you clear? Very good. Very good. Thank you Devendra. I am glad you are all happy. You are all enjoying it. Harsini. Superb Harsini. Hello Sheikh Irfan. Thank you, Bhavitra. I'm happy that you enjoyed it. So guys, are you all done? Shall we move forward? You guys are all ready? Great, great, great. So now, how do we solve this question? This is a very good question of manipulation. This is a very good question on manipulation. So I'm going to show you guys how we manipulate this and get the answer. So please listen carefully, everybody. Okay, so here, what am I going to do? Okay, I'm going to write sin x as sin of, I'm going to write plus a minus a. Is that okay? I'm going to write it as x minus a plus a. Is that all right? Is there anything wrong in doing that? Is there anything wrong in doing that? Sir, no sir, nothing wrong. You can do that. Now I'll group this. So this is A, this is B. So sine of A plus B is what? Sine of A plus B is sine A cos B plus cos A sine B. Divided by, what do I have? Sine of X minus A. Are you all happy? My dear boys and girls, was it legendary? Was it legendary? Amazing, na? Now split it. So sine x by x minus a, sine x minus a will cancel. So you will have cos a plus cos x minus a by sine x minus a will become cot of x minus a into sine a dx. Okay. Now it's a very simple integration. You have what? Cos a dx. This is a constant. Plus you'll have sine a. I can take it out. Integral cot of x minus a dx. Over. Very simple. I hope all of you are clear with it. Now it's a piece of cake. So cos a, I'll take it out. Integral dx will be x. Plus I'll have sine a outside into integral cot of x minus a is what? ln of mod sin of x minus a. That's it. Over. That's your answer. So what? A is, a is cos, cos a. A is cos a. B is what? B is sin a. So cos a comma sin a is your answer. That is how you do it. I hope you all liked it. Was it beautiful? Did you all love it? NCRT question. Exactly. So such questions can pop up in your exam. You guys have to be ready for tackling ones like this. Negative marking is not that harsh in VIT. Okay. Negative marking will not be there. So don't worry. Find the interval in which this function is decreasing. So what is f of x? f of x is equal to you will have 4x plus 1 by x. Decreasing means what? Decreasing means your derivative is less than 0. So what is your derivative? Your derivative is 4 minus 1 by x square is less than 0. Now you can solve it. So you'll get 4 is less than 1 by x square. So x square is less than 1 by 4. So it'll be from minus half to plus half. Okay. Minus half to plus half. But of course 0 is not even there in the function definition. They should have been more clear about it. But anyway, it's okay. Understood. Okay, 0 should of course not be there in the function domain itself, guys. Okay, so that's understood, I hope. That's why option A is right. Okay, less than equal to will also come. Yeah, 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 Adarsh. Equality can come at discrete points. But uh, like I said, it is a very badly framed question, guys. Because even this option is actually correct. It is not wrong. 
ओके बिकॉज इक्वालिटी टू जीरो कैन कम एट डिस्क्रीट पॉइंट दैट इज टोटली अलाउड ओके नॉट अ वेरी गुड क्वेश्चन बट या इट केम इन टू थाउजेंड एटीन आई होप यू ऑल लाइक इट सो विद दैट सेड लेट्स गो टू द नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन लग्रांज इज मीन वैल्यू थेरम लग्रांज इज मीन वैल्यू थेरम कम ऑन पीपल एवरीबडी ट्राई टू सॉल्व इट अंकित ट्राई टू पुल द वीडियो बैक एंड ट्राई टू हैव अ लुक एट इट यूल बी एबल टू गेट इट ओके Guys, I will not be able to repeat it because we have few questions and we have limited time. It's already five fifteen, so we need to rush. What is this theorem, guys? LMBT Lagrange's mean value theorem. So important it is. So important it is. What is it about? So let me help you guys. So Lagrange's mean value theorem says your f dash of C is equal to f of B minus f of A. By b minus a for a continuous and differentiable function. So for this function log x in this interval, it is continuous and differentiable. So I can apply it. Okay. So what is f dash? F dash means derivative of log. So derivative of log x is one by x. At c it will be one by c. That is equal to f of b. F of b means this is a, this is b. So it's going to be ln three minus ln two. Divided by three minus I'm I'm sorry ln one right ln three minus ln one divided by three minus one so I'll get one by c is equal to ln three divided by two because ln one is zero ln one is zero so what will be c c is equal to two by log three to the base e so that can be written as log e to the base three reciprocated got it. That is the way you do it. I hope all of you enjoyed it. Easy question, guys. Usually LMVT questions are very straightforward in VIT, and sometimes JE mains they ask good questions, but in VIT they ask direct questions. So yeah, LMVT is simple. In JE mains this can be made difficult. Okay, they can get you some really good questions on LMVT. So please practice that. Wow, that was quick. So just like I promised. On the dot, I told you one hour twenty minutes. Exactly one hour twenty minutes. We finished it. So yeah, people, if you enjoyed it, and if you want some more questions, check out the DPP which I have given you below this video. And if you want to prepare for, if you want to prepare for JE main second attempt, which is in July end, please check out the crash course. Many students have improved. they have messaged in live chat also i am sure you have seen that okay a lot of students have improved after joining the crash course i know you have only one month time but guys this is the last push you are giving okay because after one month you will be in a college you will be enrolled into a program and you will move to a different phase of your life okay so if you want to make the best use maybe push a little bit more in the last one month that you have and work really hard work like a crazy person and maybe then you will reap the benefits of all this hard work okay so this crash course is for uh, people who want to improve their score by 30 40 marks okay so if you want to improve your score by 30 40 marks then this would be a epic crash course like i said you have totally 70 sessions covering all the three subjects And eleventh and twelfth portion fully will be covered, and you can use this until JE Advance. So even if you are somebody who is preparing for JE Advance, then this will be helpful. Ankit, you have joined already. Awesome man! I hope you are using it and you are enjoying it. Great. So it does teaching plus test series plus assignments plus doubt solving. The entire package is present in this crash course and. it is very intense intense means what very very packed you should be aggressive to make this work okay because obviously guys in one month you want to increase your score by 40 50 marks it's not a joke right people struggle for two years okay to improve 50 marks people study for two years so if you want to do it in one month you need to work hard right so yeah so that is why this is a very intensive crash course and uh, 
very organized laser focused on what is required okay so that is the english batch it is starting at three o'clock every day and gets over by 8 30 it's a live course so in case you are interested i'll show you how to join we have a hindi batch also that is a hindi batch also i will show you the links how you can access them okay and people make sure you join the telegram group i will share the pdf of today's class over there so this is the telegram group link telegram is like whatsapp so it is free of cost the reason we use this is because we want to give away material so whatever i'm teaching here now nah, it will be better if you guys can go through on your own so you can download these pdfs for free from the group so please try to join it as and when you can okay so boys and girls i hope you all enjoyed it did you all have fun if you had fun let me know in the chat light it up thank you madhuri that is so kind of you so people this is the channel that you are currently watching this is a video that you are currently watching like i said the j mains crash course will be here see here j live crash english j live crash hindi so you can choose whatever you want uh, both are same price 8100 okay so you can click on the buy course and use it but one request guys if you buy it please work hard with it trust the system trust the process and give it your best that is when you will see maximum improvement okay so if you buy it attend all the classes and take the assignment seriously just blindly believe me on this and do it you will see a great change in your score no jokes okay so people sometimes after they buy they become casual then it's not gonna work okay you need to use it listen to the lectures they are all the best teachers of the country and they teach you whatever is exactly required for mains in the next one month so you need to take it a bit seriously work hard along with these fantastic teachers then you will see a tremendous improvement okay so yeah do check it out guys because you have many engineering entrants coming up you have vit you have bitsat some people are writing srm as well right so for all of them this crash course will help because it is the ultimate engineering exam je so it covers all the other exams so yeah use it wisely thank you akshara so people if you are new to this channel make sure you subscribe to the channel share this video to your friends as well those who are preparing for vit and make sure you hit the like button as well okay so with that all the very best i love you all i'll see you in the next one until then keep rocking stay happy and give it your best guys okay so that you don't regret later chalo take care bye bye